I'm John Skinner and this supports my book A Season on the Edge. These are Gibbs pencil poppers in the weight range from three and a half ounces at the top to one ounce at the bottom. In this video I'm using the middle plug which is a two ounce. This is the standard way to hold the rod for pencil popping with the hand holding the rod uh, up above the reel with the line between the thumb and the forefinger to reduce loops getting onto the spool during the popping. The idea is to pump the rod with a slow retrieve and have that plug just dancing right back and forth as you can see coming in. Here's a shot of where I've just been swirled. I'm going to keep that plug dancing, dancing, and there he is, and the fish took it. So this is a quality fish. Um, when I saw that first swirl, uh, the fish didn't touch it, didn't actually blow up on it. In that case, I'm just going to keep it moving. i uh, probably going to concentrate a little more on making sure that thing is really dancing back and forth. Blew up on it the first time, but didn't actually touch it. Uh, I just kept it going, and, and then the fish finally committed. And you know, there's uh, a lot of ways you can go when you see a fish blow up on the plug, and that's what I'll do usually in that circumstance. Well, that's a shame. That was a, a nice fish. Um, but that's the way it goes with popping plugs sometimes. Uh, they hit them, but uh, they don't always get hooked up so well. This is mid-October out on Long Island's North Fork. So that was a few casts later, um, and, and that was nice. That fish just one timed it, uh, took it right away. Uh, the, the rod I'm using is one I use in many of my other videos. This is uh, the 9 foot Lama Glass, uh, built on a Lama Glass GSB121L blank. That's a 10 footer with 1 foot cut from the butt. Uh, Vanstall 200, spooled with 30 pound test spider wire stealth. Uh, at the end of the braid, there's about a three foot liter of uh, 50 pound test fluorocarbon. Uh, I joined the braid to the fluorocarbon with a barrel swivel, and there's a tactical angler's clip at the end to which I attach, uh, attach the plug. So there are lots of uh, nice wood pencil poppers out there on the market. I tend to do well with uh, the Gibbs plugs and they're probably the most readily available. Um, I'm using the 2 ounce in this video and I, in these conditions here I tend to use either the 2 ounce or the one just below it, the ounce and a half. In bigger water or on the ocean beaches I'll use either the 2 ounce or the 2 and 3 quarters. Occasionally I'll use the big 3 and a half ounce plug. This particular plug is very banged up. I actually got it for five dollars at a flea market and wasn't looking too great then either. Uh, caught a lot of fish on it since and, and it just works. It does the job. Okay, this is a different trip and a, a few seconds into this cast you're going to see me pause and uh, just, just watch and I'm going to explain it in a second. Okay, I ended up losing that fish, um, and I'll get back to that pause in a second. All right, here's a, a different trip, and I like these conditions. Uh, a little bit of an onshore wind. I can still reach the fish, no problem, but I like having that chop, and uh, no hesitation on that fish. It blew right up, took the plug. Okay, the fish that I paused on, uh, you couldn't see it because of the distance, but what that fish did was it kicked that plug up in the air, straight up in the air, easily four to five feet. And I've seen them do that before. And when a fish does that, 
um, you know, it's not trying to eat it. It's trying to slap it up in the air and, and probably stun it when it hits the water. And uh, so when that happens, when that plug lands, I don't move it. I let it sit. Many times the fish will do exactly what you saw, um, that it, it took it right away, right after the pause. Else I would have waited like two seconds and started the retrieve back up again, and many times they'll hit it right at that point. But that's what I'll do. If they kick that plug straight up in the air, I'm going to let it fall and just sit for a couple seconds, then resume the retrieve. Another pencil popper that I like, um, especially in these smaller bodies of water and in calmer situations, are the cotton cordel pencils. And uh, those are plastic and they have rattles inside. And, uh, they don't cast quite as well as a lot of the wooden poppers, um, especially the Gibbs. The Gibbs is definitely a uh, better casting plug, but the cordel has its place. You know, if you can reach the fish with them, um, they make quite a racket with the rattles inside. And they do a good job of taking fish. And on my YouTube channel, I have a video dedicated to fishing uh, the cotton cordel pencil poppers. This is so typical. This fish uh, took a bunch of line and just ran me into the rocks and got me stuck. And uh, I, I got it out, but uh, it's going to end up doing it again. There it is, stuck. So what do you do? I'm going to just pull back kind of steady, try not to put too much pressure on it. And um, you can see it's kind of coming out. I'm not pulling real hard because the line could break, but if you put moderate pressure on it, a lot of times uh, you can slide them out and that's what happened uh, but now you know the fish has been in the rocks the line's been up against the rock so I uh, usually have to worry a little bit that uh, the line may have been damaged um, as it turns out a lot of times um, most of the time the line's not damaged but at this point in the fight you know I don't know that so I'm gonna take it a little bit easier on this fish uh, just in case that line is frayed You can see some weed now on the barrel swivel and on the plug and uh, that came from when the fish was up in the rocks. So it's probably a little safer for me if I use pliers here. Um, I, there's very small barbs on this plug and um, I, I would just rather use my hands. I feel like I probably do a little um, less damage to the fish if I just do it by hand because I can get a better feel for how much pressure I'm putting on the hook. Um, so I'm just trying to be careful with this one. I don't want to make matters any worse and the hook's hardly in at all and it's going to come out pretty easily. So 
and the fish will be on his way. All right, thanks for watching.